If you've ever wondered what lies at the end of the universe, you're not alone. Physicists like Stephen Hawking have pondered this question for decades. While the answer is not simple, we have some ideas about what might be beyond the boundary where everything in the observable universe slips past never to be seen again. Recently, it was discovered that the universe is accelerating, being pulled by an unseen force. An event horizon is a well-defined boundary beyond which nothing can be seen or escape. To understand what might be at the end of the universe, we must consider the initial singularity, a point of infinite density and heat from which the universe rapidly expanded due to quantum fluctuations. This theory is known as the Big Bang. Single point, and since then, scientists have built on his idea of cosmic expansion. Looking out at distant galaxies, it was discovered that the farther away these galaxies were the faster they seemed to be moving away from us. It would make sense that if things in the universe are growing farther apart as time goes on, they must have been closer together. At one point, this universally accepted theory is said to have occurred some 13.8 billion years ago, and over this time space itself has expanded the matter has undergone gravitational attraction, and the result of the Big Bang is everything that we see today. But as vast as the universe is there is a limit to what we can actually see beyond a certain distance past the particle horizon, and the event horizon galaxies disappear stars start to dim and fade out, and no signals from the distant universe can be seen there is no evidence that the universe has an edge. But that doesn't mean one doesn't exist from our perspective. It looks like we're at the center of everything, and every single galaxy is flying away from us. So that naturally leads to there's got to be an edge line of reasoning. But here is where things get interesting. Let's say we hopped over to the Andromeda galaxy, which is our nearest galactic neighbor. If we lived in Andromeda, everything would look the same as if we were at the center of the universe, and everything was flying away from us even if we teleported to the most distant galaxies that we can see in the observable universe, it would still seem as though we were at the center of the galaxy, and every other galaxies, including the Milky Way, would be racing away from us beyond our own galaxy. There is a sea of around two trillion galaxies in total in the observable universe. The stars and galaxies out there look very much like our own, but as we look farther away, we see the universe, as it was in the distant past, which are less structured, hotter, younger, and less evolved. All those galaxies come in many different types, shapes, sizes, and masses. But as you start to look back at the more distant ones, we start to find something unusual. The farther away a galaxy is, the more likely it is that it's smaller and has less mass. The stars in these galaxies are intrinsically bluer in color than the nearby ones these smaller blue and younger galaxies evolved at earlier times for a galaxy that's relatively close to our own. We can say that it's about the same age as us, but look at a galaxy that's billions of light years away from Earth, and you're seeing the light that has traveled billions of years to reach our eyes. In other words, a galaxy whose light takes 13 billion years to reach us must be less than 1 billion years old. That means the farther away we look, we're basically looking back in time. It's simply mind-boggling when you look at the greatest image ever released of the distant universe, which was taken by the Hubble Extreme Deep Field. There are thousands of galaxies in the image, and while all those floating galaxies look close to one another, there are huge distances from each other. Here's some 3 fly fly-through video, however what you can't see in simple color is that each galaxy has a spectrum associated with it where clouds of gas absorb light at very particular wavelengths, which are based on the simple physics of the atom. So as the universe expands the wavelength, stretches the galaxies that are very distant appear redder than they otherwise would using these physics, allows us to calculate their distance, and when distances are assigned to them, the farthest galaxies are the youngest and smallest ones beyond these galaxies you would expect to find the first stars, and then nothing but neutral gas. This would be during a time when the universe didn't have enough time to pull matter into a dense enough form that would create the first stars going back millions of years. Before this, there existed radiation in the universe that was so hot that neutral atoms couldn't form and photons would simply bounce off charged particles continuously when neutral atoms did for that light streamed in a straight line 
and left behind a glow called the cosmic microwave background, which is thought to be leftover radiation or heat from the Big Bang. This relic radiation permeates the whole universe in all directions. It is the oldest electromagnetic radiation in that this CMB provides some insight into the composition of the universe. As a whole, most of the universe is made up of dark energy. It is a mysterious force, but is driving the accelerating expansion of the universe. The next biggest element is dark matter, which only interacts with the rest of the universe through its gravity dark matter isn't something that can be seen, but it is a hypothetical form of matter, which is thought to account for a large chunk of matter in the universe. There is a lot of debate around whether dark flow is real, and what could cause it there is one idea that some mass that existed very early in the universe, before cosmic inflation when the universe was extremely compressed, made such a big impact on the matter of our universe, that some galaxy clusters are still drawn to it to this day. It has also been recently found that this acceleration of the universe is increasing with dark energy, pulling on everything this discovery was made in the 1990s and was a surprise to astronomers. Because everyone believed that everything in the universe was slowing down, scientists argued that there must be some sort of mysterious force, this dark energy pulling the universe apart the fabric of space wasn't just expanding but the expansion was accelerating what we do know is that if the universe weren't expanding gravitation would cause everything to collapse down to a single point the fact that the universe hasn't done that allows us to conclude that something has prevented that collapse either something counteracts gravity or the universe is expanding the edge of the observable universe is called the particle horizon and lies roughly 47 billion light years away it is always receding both because the universe expands and because light from increasingly large distances eventually reaches us the cosmic horizon is roughly 42 billion light years away. This is the current distance beyond which light emitted at this cosmological time will never have the to reach us the options for what lies on the other side of this cosmic horizon or end of the universe is as infinite and sometimes improbable seeming as the very human imagination that ponders it the accelerating expansion of space means that the space between us and faraway galaxies expands faster than light can travel through space therefore there could be many other galaxies and worlds beyond this scientists cannot the shape of the universe is a topic of debate some believe it is spherical others think it is negatively curved and some suggest it is flat like a dish the question then becomes if the universe has an end or if it continues indefinitely. Our observable universe has a theoretical boundary known as the Big Bang, but it is a boundary of time rather than space. Due to the speed of light, there is a limit to what we can see. If we were to observe a tiny fraction of a second before the universe's highest energies, we would likely see cosmic inflation, where the universe expanded rapidly. The ultimate fate of the universe has different theories. If it continues to expand indefinitely, it could result in the Big Freeze, where the universe approaches absolute zero temperature. Eventually, star formation will cease, and the universe will grow darker. Alternatively, the universe could collapse on itself in a reverse Big Bang. These events are trillions of years in the future, so there is no need for immediate concern. However, our current age is exciting as we continue to uncover mysteries such as dark energy and dark matter. These discoveries may hold the key to unlocking greater understanding. Thank you for watching and feel free to share your thoughts in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe for future updates.